had the pleasure of it being invited to Vice President Pence's event today at Guadalupe Church, where he's going to address his thoughts regarding Venezuela. Hussein from ONG V times V. Can you tell me a little bit about your expectations following today's event? Well, I think the expectations are that we're going to have some very uh, positive comments reference to the situation in Venezuela and the hope that we all have that democracy returns to Venezuela and that we actually have, um, you know, an eminent change where those people that are working day in and day out in Venezuela will have the opportunity to share what we share in this country, which is freedom of expression, uh, freedom of religion. And, and really have a, a, a true democracy. I have the pleasure of speaking with Jose Pepe Diaz. He's the commissioner of this area in Doral, and he's going to tell me a little bit about what he does. And this is one of the main issues right now that we're dealing with is Venezuela, uh, something that I've been working on for a long, long time and fighting since uh, the Chavez days. I'm now dealing with this uh, um, tyrant that right. we're dealing with, Maduro. So um, our goal is our constituents are suffering tremendously through their family, through their, through their own businesses, through many different ways and themselves. So our goal is to help and find ways with the United States government to find solutions. And how do you hope that the message that Vice President Pence sends today will impact Venezuela? Well, the message is going to be very clear. I'm sure he hear, he's hearing by many, from many Venezuelans that are here, the exiles. Um, there's going to be some very tough solutions that have to take place if there's going to be change. And they have to be very tough. Um, the sanctions have to be very severe. And, and not rule out all the options that we may have. Because at the end of the day, Venezuela is a very, it's the largest trading partner of the United States of America. So we got to be very smart in how we work this and, and not take this as any other well, the place. The bishops of Venezuela who speak for the church there are calling for a, a return to democracy, a return to a... Uh, a, uh, to the rule of law, and uh, they recognize that that is the, uh, the condition necessary for a future of democracy and progress uh, for the Venezuelan people. Can you send one message to Venezuela? Well, uh, the one message is to know that they are not alone, that there are people around the world that are in solidarity. I now have the pleasure of speaking with Myra Jolie. Myra, can you tell me a little bit about what you do and your relation to Venezuela? Yes, Ma. Bueno, my name is Myra Jolie. I'm an immigration attorney. And my relation to Venezuela is the relation is by blood. What does that mean? Their blood is red, my blood is red, so we must be brothers and sisters. And what are you hoping that um, Vice President Pence's message does to the crowd today? Well, I'm telling you, the, I'm telling you this. What, uh, what the, the Venezuelan uh, community has to understand is that the United States is going to stand with them if they are willing to fight, if they are willing to plant their flag, and no matter how many, how many rocks are being thrown at them, they are going to stay put. I'm now speaking with Anna Maria Lamar. She is a human rights activist. And what kind of impact do you hope Vice President Pence has on the group here today? Well, I, I know that because he's a man of principle, whatever he says, it's going to be very beneficial to the cause of Venezuela's freedom. Can you send one message to the people of Venezuela? We are extremely grateful to Venezuela, mostly and mainly because it was the nation that opened the door to every person that wanted to have a future.